Hey guys, it's me Joy. Welcome to my channel. For today's video, I'll be sharing with you on how and what is the easiest way to calibrate your monitor without using any third-party software or tools. So I hope you will join me until the end of this video and don't forget to like and subscribe. And now, let's jump into the topic. Actually, there is a lot of simple and easiest way to enhance and calibrate your screen display or monitor. One of them is to adjust the color temperature in the display manager. You can find it by simply hitting the right button of your mouse. In the display manager, you can adjust the brightness from the warmest to the coolest display possible your monitor can provide. If you are a MateBooker or MateBook user, this is how it looks like. You can choose from default cold, warm, or custom by dragging your cursor to your desired color. If you turn on the eye comfort mode, it will give you a yellowish or warm look because it filters the blue light to relieve visual fatigue. By simply dragging the slider, you can adjust the tone from cooler to warmer. But for some reason, I don't like it, so I will turn it off. Now, let's go to the second option. Click the settings below, or you can also find it by hitting the right button of your mouse, then select the display setting. Now, let us select the Windows HD color settings and calibrate. Let's turn on the stream HDR video, then click change calibration settings. Then click here to maximize the window and you can adjust the calibration by simply dragging the slider, this small bar here, until you find a good balance. You will notice the display changes every time I move the slider. And once you're done, you can select the arrow at the bottom to exit the window. And if you don't like the result and you want to reset to the default, just hit the reset calibration button. Now let me just go back to the previous menu. There. By the way guys, this is how it looks like when you turn on and off the HDR option. You turn it on your display becomes more vibrant than pale looking one when it's off and we're done with the second option and let me please close this windows first before we move to the third option the third option is the color filters in the main window of display settings, go to the search box, then type Adjust Color Filters. Adjusting color filter helps you to distinguish color elements, especially for those who have color vision deficiency or known as color blindness problems. Just click this button to turn it on, then select the option best suited to you. And now, let me show you how it looks like when we select each option. And this is how it looks like for inverted. Grayscale. Grayscale inverted. Or select a color blindness filter. option is not suited for you just turn it off and now we're done for the third one and if you're still not happy with the result of any of the said options here is the last one i can share with you this is more advanced than what i mentioned earlier let's go back again to the display settings 
pull it down, down, there it is. Click the advanced display settings. And click the display adapter properties. Then choose color management. And hit the color management button. This part is like a container or a window that holds profiles when you add and select color profiles. I will show you that later. But now, let us select the advanced button above. Here, in the WCS default section, you can choose any device profiles available on your PC and select what you think best for you. For me, I will choose white gamut RGB, just for a sample. In this section, I will leave it as is, just for me, but you can always select any options you think best for you and I will let you explore that part guys and whatever profiles you chose you can calibrate it in the display calibration section then select calibrate display here you can adjust gamma brightness and contrast then click next you can move the slider up and down to adjust gamma. When you're done, click next. And these are the guides for color balance adjustment. Then click next. Drag the slider to adjust color balance for red, green, and blue color. And then when you're done, click next. This part will show you the comparison of your previous calibration versus the new one. Just hit the button to show the difference. And then click finish. The clear type text thinner window will appear. Then just click next, next, next until it's done. But if you have printers and other devices connected to your PC, you must calibrate your monitor here in the change system defaults so that the changes you made will reflect to the other devices. Since we made changes or calibrate our monitor earlier, it will automatically add to the devices. Select the profile, then click Set as Default Profile button. And if you want to change it, go to the Advanced tab, and you can do the same steps that we did earlier. because of so many steps to do, 
you may like this last option. I will just change my video settings from screen recording to actual video recording so you can see the changes in colors when I made changes to the default profile. This option is to load or add standardized ICC profile. Let us go to the display settings again, then color management. Under the device tab, you can add any standardized ICC profile that you have. I already added some profiles in my PC. And now, let me show you how to add. Click add button then locate the folder where you save the ICC profile. Select the desired profile then click the set as default profile button. See how my monitor changes the color display every time I set a profile. And if you want to remove the profile you added, just hit the remove button or go to the all profiles tab. Then under ICC profiles, you can find and select profiles that you want to remove. Let's go back to the main window of the display settings. All the profiles you added will also reflect in the color profiles. Just click the drop down box where you can easily choose or set the profile that you want. And you're done. And by the way guys, please see the description box below for the link where you can download ICC profiles. And every time you make changes to the settings, please restart your PC always. One more thing, this is very important. Before doing so in any method or ways I mentioned, make sure your monitor was turned on for at least 30 minutes so it can warm up and heat it to the usual brightness. And that's all guys. I hope you learned something from this video and don't forget to like and subscribe. If you haven't subscribed yet, please, please subscribe now and click the notification bell to get you notified for newly uploaded videos. Thank you guys. Stay safe. Bye-bye.